Thought I heard Squatch. Does he have any more pipe laying around here anywhere? The same size? No. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. So today's mission is going to be to try and make this ditch crossing a little bit wider. Uh, it's obviously a little bit too short of a pipe, but it was also put in with crushed stone. Look at the washout on both sides. So you can see here and here, there's about close to probably 18 inches on both sides that's washed out already. So this, this usable path right here is probably barely wide enough right now for a side-by-side. -side. Um, and if it continues to erode, he's not going to be able to cross this. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you a lot of my thoughts on using clay versus crushed stone. But I'm going to peel all this back and, well, let's just watch the project and see how it goes. Thanks a lot.
so my my opinion which is not just an opinion but I base it on uh, my experiences and a, and a lot of the stuff I've learned from my buddy Morris um, I, I my, honestly think that like whatever 30 years ago somebody came up with this idea <clears throat> that it's better to put crushed gravel than clay around culvert pipes and it just became followed much like other myths because that's actually the you know the highway departments when they uh, spec out a highway like he builds them he taught me all this stuff <clears throat> and they want that crushed gravel I'm gonna see if I can get dirt over there they want that crushed gravel in all the culverts so when he was uh, digging our, our driveway he told me I mean he bid it out he bid it out to highway specs all right and, but then he told me and there was like 18 or 20 culvert pipes he had to put in he's like look he goes culvert or, or uh, highway specs call for crushed gravel packed down by each of these culvert pipes and he said I'll, I'll do it with dirt and clay he said it'll save you you know whatever it was like ten thousand bucks or something and he said uh, he's like even if one or two were to blow out he's like I could come back and fix them you know a dozen times and you'd still be money ahead and I said yeah go for it so uh, I obviously watched him took a bunch of video and they basically used clay and we have not had one blown out culvert yet and believe me we've had some you know 16 18 inch rain events over you know a two or three day period uh, when actual like highway culverts had blown out none of ours blew out so uh you know it's not just my idea he's been doing it for whatever 40 years he took over the business from his dad so and then of course I've been putting them in that way ever since and I've not really had a problem with just using clay <clears throat> so that's why I do it with clay not to mention it's it's cheaper because every load of gravel you're looking at you know close to 300 bucks depending on how far out in the boonies you are So, to do it with clay, you're just looking at whatever, you know, an hour of excavator time, depending on how big it is and so forth, as opposed to uh, dump truck time, haul, paying for the gravel, hauling it, getting it way back in the woods, and then doing the excavator work on top of all that. So that's my two cents on on using clay instead of rock although this one's gonna look nice because I'm gonna put the rock back over it so it'll still look nice uh, but hopefully it'll hold better on the, uh, the, the top edges of the pipe that's the goal